So this evening I'm yeah. going to make passion fruits. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make it in a local way, locally. A local way. Yeah, how we prepare it locally in Uganda. Here, okay. you know, actually, yeah, in Uganda, in Kachumbala. Kachumbala, which is where we are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, cold. yeah fresh cold water. Okay. Here I have my sugar. Okay. It's a sheaf. You call it a sheaf. A sheaf. Yeah. yeah okay. Yes. All right. In my language, it's called a dilelet. A dilelet. A dilelet. And that's in Ateso. Yeah, in Ateso. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have my knife. Okay, my I will knife. step back. Yes. Okay. Okay. So here I have my one, two, three, four, five, six passion fruits. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You As you see. In a plastic plate. It has to be plastic? Is this official Ugandan plastic? <laughs> Not really. No? Okay, okay. So, so Mark, show me. Here we go. This is what I'm going to do. Are you going to cut your hands? Not really. Oh, be careful. Oh, don't be scared. Be careful. And here I cut it in the middle. Okay. To make sure instead of one, to now become two. Okay, let me see the, this passion you fruit. You can see how it is. From how do you side? know when the passion fruit is ripe? If I go to the market yeah. and I'm touching it, what do I have to feel like for me to know this is a good one to buy? Oh, you can even do this. You can shake it. You can shake it. And what are you listening for? And when you shake it and you listen to something, that means it's not. Because the seeds will be like this inside okay yeah do you have to dance a little bit when you shake it or uh, it's just your hands it depends all right so yes, show me the, show me the, the passion fruit yeah. dance yes yeah. yeah. okay 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 <laughs> So the next step, I get my passion fruit that I already cut, cut. All right. I'm now putting my passion fruit. So you put them all in? Yeah, the whole of it. Okay. What's next? So the next step, you pick your sugar and you put inside the sheave where the passion fruit is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You make sure it's enough. We are now going to mix it. We are now doing the mixing. And of course, as you do the mixing, as you see, some, it's water actually, which is juice, is a thick at the moment because there is no water inside. We call this nectar. Nectar. It's the nectar. It's yeah. just the pure, 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 exactly. pure juice. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So. All right. We'll come back to uh, Tina when she's done getting all of these done, yeah. because she's so slow that I don't want to waste too much film on her. Right. <laughs> so uh, this is the part of the day when the chickens and the goats have to be brought in. <laughs> yes. Get the the neck. Oh. I like remove some feathers from okay. here, like this. Okay. Like this. Like when it is this. like that. Yes. So, you get the knife. Okay. Uh, chickens and goats here are used for their meat. Look at this. Look at these little guys. The way they're jumping. So all of these little babies, when they grow up, we will be enjoying them on the grill so you make sure you mix it until all the nectar as Max says actually until it becomes dry all the way you keep going yeah okay it looks like it takes uh, it takes Tina maybe about 10 minutes uh, to work all of this through yeah but actually the next step now is pouring water okay yeah. So 